Hey everyone, Buzz Burline with Kingfisher Kayak Adventures, Beeline Fishing, and Team New Canoe. Today, what I'm going to do is show you how to put on boat registration stickers on a kayak. And I have the New Canoe Unlimited here in the back of my truck, and we're going to show you all the details and tools that you're going to need. Now, I do my stickers a little bit different than a lot of other people. I use a couple special products that are out there. Uh, and so far, so good. Uh, the last couple of years, I haven't had any major issues on it. So it's not the only way to do it. There's a lot of great ways to do it. And hopefully this works again with the New Canoe Unlimited. In the meantime, don't forget to please subscribe to Kingfisher Kayak Adventures. And uh, you know, if this video brings some value to you, I would appreciate if you subscribe and hit the notification button, give it a big thumbs up and uh, let's get started. Okay, so I've got the Unlimited here in the back of my truck and just show you a few things that I use in order to put my boat registration numbers on. I got these numbers from boatdecals.biz and I've had these on uh, my other boats before, used the same process, didn't have any problems at all with them coming off. Not to say we won't on, you know, on this one, we don't, I don't know for sure, but this has worked for me in the past, so I'm going to show you and if it doesn't work, then I'll, I'll update this video and say, you know, do a different, a different way to do it. So uh, you got the decals, you get the, the, my Florida registration, um, a bucket of soapy warm water, paper towel, got this uh, bonding material called Rapid Tech and the directions are very specific on, on the back. And, uh, and then uh, a sealant pen which holds the edges nice and tight. So uh, it is uh, an, a kind of an acrylic clear paint that uh, I think works pretty well. So let's uh, do some applications. If there's one simple thing that you can learn from this video is to use Rapid Tack 2 correctly. It's very easy to do if you follow the directions on the back, but there are very specific directions on the back on how to use this product and how to be safe with it. So do this outside. Don't do it inside in a, in a poorly ventilated area. This is a, a chemical that really does the job. It is the key chemical for this project. And uh, the best way to do it is to follow the directions. So the first thing I'm gonna do is identify the place where I, where I wanna put them. I'm gonna put it just below the, the gunnel here because I have other stickers and so forth from my other sponsors to put on uh, later. And just wiping it down with that some of that soapy water because I have had this boat in the, in the water before. So make sure it's nice and clean. And of course, make sure it's dried off before you get started. Okay, so after cleaning the area, you know, I just try to give yourself an area where you want it lined up, just so you have a, a good spot. You know, I just try to eye it up. This is curved a little bit, so um, just like to have a, a plan before you start doing it. So that's where it'll be, and then I'll put the tag, you know, right there the best I can. And so, First thing that says is you gotta shake it up. And I'll get some gloves on. And just give it a good cleaning and then let it dry. I'm so it's been, it's pretty warm right now because it's been sitting out in the sun. So I, I don't feel like it's necessary for me to hit it with the heat gun. Uh, if it was cooler outside or if it's winter time or something like that, um, for those of you who are up north, then, you know, I'd encourage you to hit it um, with the heat gun before you started uh, cleaning. Okay, so the next thing is we're gonna spray it down with uh, the Rapitec 2, make sure it's wet. We'll pull the backing off the vinyl uh, letters and we'll stick it on there. We might need to squeegee it um, 
I just have a, you know, a clean painter's plastic squeegee to get any bubbles out, if that's the case. We'll wait about 90 seconds, and we'll spray it again, and we'll peel the other backing off, and we should be good to go. Okay, we got it on there pretty tight, squeeze it on there. You know, if you wanted to double check and you can just press it down with your squeegee, that's another option instead of doing it. I just did it by with my fingers. Just try to make sure you get around the edges as well too. Try to seal those down. Okay, so next is uh, we're gonna spray it down then remove the other, uh, the tape off using at a 45 degree angle, pulling it off carefully. I try to soak that pretty good to make sure it comes off pretty easily. Just take your time. And I just try to lightly damp it off so you're not <clears throat> knocking the letters off. There's a bubble right there. I'm just trying to squeeze it to the edge. It's not perfectly smooth because there's a couple, you know, this the whole material isn't that smooth, but so far, I think it's looking pretty good. So we're gonna let that sit for a little while uh, before we hit it with the seal tip pen around the edges that should seal it up so no water gets up in there. So one other thing you can do while it's sitting, especially if it's colder out, it's sitting in the sun, so it's pretty good, but you can definitely hit it with the, um, with the heat gun, but be, be very careful. You're just making it a little warm. You don't wanna melt the vinyl. little extra heat will uh, allow it to bond real nice on there. Okay, so I did the other side and I did the uh, Florida registration tag, which I've had more problems with peeling off in the past than I have from the tags from boatdecals.biz. Um, so one of the things I do is kind of the last minute thing here is uh, use a sealant pen, which is basically an acrylic coat around the edge here. So I'll show you how we're doing, gonna do that. Basically, just make sure it's, you shake it up. It's got a, it's got a, get to the camera here, a little bullet end. You can see it's moist there. Uh, you want to try to tip it down, make sure that it's working, and then just go along the edge. Like you're drawing an outline along the outside, and you, you I'm sure you can't see it there but from the camera, but you can see what I'm doing is just drawing on the edge and it's hopefully going to seal the edge of each letter so it doesn't get water underneath. Because once you start to get 
a little edge peel. You guys know, you've seen it before. Uh, the rest of the numbers, just a matter of time, or the rest of the letter or numbers are a matter of time before they peel off. So basically I'll do the rest of that. Very simple, simple fix and uh, let that dry. I try not to take the boat out. This is supposed to take 30 to 60 minutes to dry, but I usually just wait to overnight before I take the boat out again. Um, so 12, 24 hours, you should be good to go. If this provided some value for you, I hope that you continue to subscribe or tell your friends to subscribe, hit the notification bell for the next video that's gonna come out and give it a big thumbs up. And thanks for being here and we'll see you on the water.